Hey guys, welcome back to Living Life Barefoot. In today's video, we're gonna make a three ingredient peanut butter cookie. Yep. So I love these cookies because number one, it's simple, it's easy. I know all the ingredients that are in here so it's a bit healthier than other peanut butter cookies. Um, you're not a fan of peanut butter and you like these. Yeah, kind of. Kind of, they're not your favorite? No, I like them though. I'll eat them. Mm -hmm. You like them. You can actually swap out and use any kind of nut butter you'd like. So almond butter, peanut butter, you can do sun butter. Anything will work, just do it to your likings. And so we need one cup of almond flour, a half a cup of your nut butter, and a third cup of maple syrup. And that yep. is it. So if you guys wanna go ahead and just gonna throw it all in and we'll mix it up. And while they're doing that, I want to tell you a, a little fun story. So we are actually making these for my old boss at the job that I used to work at. Now that I have a YouTube channel, I think it's funny to tell this story because when I worked there, I was always bringing in new concoctions of different things and better ingredient stuff for them to try. And I was always running around barefoot. My boss always said that he and I were going to start a YouTube channel. I was going to bring in my concoctions <laughs> and my different things that he would always joke about and he was going to make fun of it because yeah. that's what we did. It was all in good fun, all in good humor. So I always enjoyed bringing in new things for him and my other co-workers to try because they always got a kick out of it and I always got a kick out of seeing <laughs> their expressions and seeing what they thought about the different things that I would bring in. So I thought I would just share that funny little story. So we're gonna go ahead and get these mixed up and rolled into little balls and put on our baking sheet. This made about 14 little peanut butter balls. You could easily double this recipe if you would like. And so two things you can do from here. You can take your fork and smash it down, which I never have any luck of that because it always sticks. See that? So there's a trick. Good. I got an idea. Parchment paper, put it yeah. on top of the... That doesn't look too bad. What if Last we... time I did this, it didn't work out very well. You guys want to try? What if we put par parchment paper? Yeah, that's another way you can do it is just put the parchment paper on top and kind of smash them down. I think that's a better one. But traditionally, yeah. I think people always do the little fork thing in the peanut butter. I don't think Todd's going to care. No. <laughs> okay, I, so you got to do it easy. Okay. Okay? Okay. So we can smash them out and then see what we think here. Okay. That's the soup in Not too bad. They look perfect. So we're going to stick them in the oven for 10 minutes at 350. Okay, these just came fresh out of the oven. They're still a little warm, so we're going to let them cool off and get them packaged up. We will let you know what he thought about them, but I think you'll like them. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Comment below if you're going to try this easy three ingredient peanut butter cookie recipe. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos. See you later. Okay, so I'm making another batch. We should have just doubled the recipe. Dylan had one of the cookies and he says he can't stay out of them, so making another batch. They're good. Really good. Oh, and I found out the trick on pressing the fork in the cookie. It worked after they came out of the oven. It didn't stick to the fork at all. I'm sure you guys knew that, but I figured it out.